I did this course and it was about leadership and stuff. So I thought, you know, here I am standing in front of the, the room and doing this course about leadership and, you know, trying to create a life for myself. But behind closed doors in the background, I'm smoking up and doing drugs. And I just felt like, like I was a bullshit artist, like I was pulling the wool over people's eyes, you know, trying to provide an example. But what you don't know about me is I'm a drug addict. And it just switched. It just clicked there. It was like a switch. And my mate was sitting there with me. And I just said to him, fuck, bro, do you, do you realise just what happened there? I believe that whilst all these amazing people were in my life, kids was good, everything was good, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to deal with what I needed to deal with. I wasn't ready to hear. Things just went in one ear and out the other. People would say, you're okay, and I'd have this belief, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. And I couldn't receive what I needed to hear at the time, and I wasn't ready. So I know that when I was ready, everything changed in a moment for me. Well, looking back, when I moved to America when I was 17, I started using drugs. When I moved again back to London, I started using drugs. And then when I came to New Zealand, I started using drugs. And I just thought, no, I'm not going to fuck up everything again. I had an extraordinary epiphany. And I saw, I saw, you know, I saw the light. It was uh, extraordinary. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. In fact, I stopped, even though I was <clears throat> not even um, completely off my detox, I stopped everything, including cigarette smoking. It just all slipped away. Coming home and your baby and lady's gone and your house is packed. And I lay in the fetal position for two days, man. I just fell to the, well, she had left the mattress um, and like a sheet and I just lay there. And I, I think it was like two days or something, but I, I woke up with her coming into the room and I was so scared and she just like looked at me and was like, what are you doing here? And I just said, I need help. Yeah. And uh, that was the last time I used. It's the last time I ever used drugs. I pretty much just went cold turkey because, well, the Armed Defender Squad came through the house at about three o'clock in the morning, arrested us, and pretty much from, oh, I had a few sessions after that, but it just didn't do anything for me, and I just wiped my the slate clean pretty much and went down a completely different road. And it took a while, lots of bags of lollies later, and yeah, heaps of blackouts and stuff, but it, I finally came right, and yeah, and haven't really looked back.